Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the Last Mexter and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 Part 3 uh, of the campaign. Let's go straight into it. Uh, Cabot Fitch was talking about something, so... Things grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. <laughs> the bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Oh, hey, Lambert. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. Mm -hmm. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous catches that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll Got start it. with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Alrighty, folks. So it seems we have a uh, Carnotaurus in inbound. So I, I built a, a thing for it. So yeah, how you guys doing? Welcome back. Hope everyone, everyone is well. Well and good. Okay. So we have this... Oh uh, yeah, he's probably going to need more than uh, trees, isn't he? Considering he's a metasaurus. He's probably going to want uh, good old meat. And good old goat. And uh, let's... I'm probably going to start leaving more of the actual enclosure builds in. Uh, I think I'm going to do some speed builds later on for when we get into sandbox. I'll cut most of this out so you don't have to sit through it, but uh, yeah, so we'll put a bit of rock down. Let's get dirty. Uh, water? Yes. <laughs> let's, you know, let's not have something die. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I mean... Asset has been collected. Oh shit, there's two of them. Asset transportation underway. Okay. We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Dinosaurs! Perfectly. The dinosaurs. Oh, it is beautiful. My frame is probably gonna drop on this map, <laughs> but that's all right. Because I mean, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Love it. Man, this music is it's hype. Ooh. Oh boy. Goat must be from Goat Simulator, cause holy nuts! <laughs> You're a tough little son of a bitch, aren't you? Oh, oh. It, you know, the, the carnotaurus didn't even bother the jeep. No, no, it was, it was goat. Oh, these guys probably are mad about something. Missing sand, bruh. You're missing sand. Well. 
I mean, okay, I can give you sand in all the wrong places. Sand. Why does it look like that sand? That's rock. That's why. That's why it looks different. <laughs> Alrighty folks, seems we're almost there. 18 seconds left, let's pray nothing horrible happens in that time frame. Allosaurus. Right, so I've had one of these before. Uh, it did die, and reincarnated, so it looks like a jelly bean, that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's good. It's good. Make a very wet habitat, you know. Dinosaurs like the wetness. So I've been told by no one qualified. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Don't you worry, Cabot. I've got everything under control complete control because as we know Jurassic Park and Jurassic World were perfectly safe places for both humans and dinosaurs we know this all right naming time this is always my favorite part so we're gonna be uh, original and call him Big Al <laughs> in honor of uh, walking with dinosaurs of course these guys, I mean, I'm sure you can name them as well. Still missing sand. What? You still need sand. Why do... Why do that it in... Mm -hmm. English. <laughs> it's my first language. I promise. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Wait. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. Who are you going rubbish? The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Alrighty. She, uh... She didn't have her coffee this morning. Alrighty, folks. So everything is built. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. All right. <laughs> Jeez, I'm just being ordered around to build shit. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Then I'll uh, I'll just build it. You know. See how you like it. What if I ordered you to build this? You wouldn't be too happy, would you? No. I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> okay. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. <coughs> incident alert. For those in the field, I've received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of St. Louis. Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. Okay. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams. 
which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for a PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Two ankylosaurus. Hey! Oh, yeah! Hold on. A demon progress. One more for the sticker book. 79. Holy nuts. That's a lot. I forgot how many there are in this game. No, I, I don't have any idea what these guys may need. It's not gonna be a goat. I'm just gonna assume that. I mean, maybe they do need a goat. I don't know. They'll probably want ground fiber because all the herbivores want ground fiber. It's the latest trend, after all. Mm. Transportation complete. Tall leaf. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Let me see, let me see. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Ah! That's cool. As I've said already multiple times, I know, I'm sorry. But I mean, look at it. It's a dinosaur, obviously. Okay, you guys probably aren't happy, so before you decide to bash everything into oblivion, let's check. <laughs> oh no! An ailment. What the hell? Missing ground fruit. Well, that's why. No ground fruit. I'd be pretty pissed off if I had no ground fruit either. Oh no, I totally forgot rocks. And I totally forgot water as well. That might be slightly more important than rocks. Not really. But. Ooh. Now there's a big boy. Hey guys. What's wrong? I should probably. Instead of asking them what's wrong, I should actually figure out what's wrong, you know? I'm gonna drive, because we all know. That I am. Um... Why'd we stop? I was gonna say I'm skilled at driving. Then my vehicle stalled and uh. Excuse me! Excuse me! Just come and. Um, get off the. Get off the goddamn road! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! It's fine. Did I put a gate on here? Medical procedure number 103. And they're cured. What's wrong, guys? Disease. <laughs> you have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature. I agree. Honestly, perhaps even more. As the miracle of science gave them a second chance. Oh dear. So, do the research, find the cure, and then let's use it. The dinosaurs die. Again. And listen, that's not going to happen. No, it's not. Disease. Dum, 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 da -da, dum, da -da. Alright, so I think I may have found my scientist. Ashley. Hale. Ashley completed a physics degree before moving into paleontology. Prior to joining the team, Ashley worked on, a various, on various research projects. Ashley is a published author having written a book on paleontology. Well done, Ashley. You're hired. You are on the team. Positive influence. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Alright. So apparently these guys need rest. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. 
know why, but uh, they do. I'll be back when they're done sleeping, being lazy. Everything the light touches will be yours, my son. Yes, this is why I'm single. Well, it's one of the reasons. Frankly, it's it's a long ass list. My money's going up. Well, that's nice. Virtually, of course. No. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It's interesting, I think these kind of games, you know, they always, they're, they're fun and they're, you know, they're amazing visuals and all that, but I, I think they have a special ability, you know, for for those of us who, you know, were in love with dinosaurs when we were kids, and of course I was one of them, you know, they have that kind of special ability, ability to, I don't know, just invoke a certain emotion, and, uh, of awe and wonder like it's if the camera will let me be <laughs> will let me be heartfelt here no all right that's fine Alrighty, well, that's that yeah guys you're gonna have to what in the you know This might be the first time the vehicle damage is caused by something other than a dinosaur. There you go. <laughs> well done, guys. You figured out how to back up. And my staff is far more incompetent than I thought. Okay. You're a little off there. <laughs> Alrighty folks, I'm following the last medication we got left to do here and then and everybody will be all better. There we go. Dr. Dua, this is Lambert. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, <laughs> this will be an ongoing mission for Stay us on moving target. forward. Stay on target. All right. Woo! We got a lot of spots. I kind of want. I kind of want a Brachiosaurus. I can't go there yet, can I? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Sinoceratops. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Let's get both of you guys on it. Live capture. Hey, nice. Three out of four kept when invaded. Oh, they can escape. Okay. I'm not really ready, but let's put it down anyway. <laughs> Lovely. I'm probably gonna want some, some fruit nut stuff. God damn, that's beautiful. Alrighty, folks, uh, that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, so, yeah, we've uh, we've done a few things, you know. We built this enclosure for our lovely Sinoceratops right here. 
And uh, yeah, we got a few dinosaurs in, but it wasn't quite. We have quite a bit to go actually for the rating. So that's where I'm going to end it. We haven't quite finished this one. Normally we finish uh, one of these areas in in one episode, but I got to keep these videos short or shorter, you know, so it doesn't drag on for too long. As always, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and I will see all of you in the next video. Have an awesome one.